What would happen if the world came to an end this week? It's a scary thought, but it's important to be prepared for anything. What's up guys, and welcome to Top USA Entertainment today. We're talking about a hypothetical scenario. What would happen if the world came to an end this week? It's a scary thought, but it's important to be prepared for anything. So let's take a closer look at what might happen if the world came to an end this week. The possibility of the world ending soon. In a world constantly bombarded with headlines of impending doom, the possibility of the world ending soon is a topic that has captured the attention and imagination of many. While some may dismiss it as fear-mongering or mere speculation, there are valid reasons to consider the potential for an imminent global catastrophe. With climate change wreaking havoc on our planet, political instability leading to conflicts and wars, and the looming threat of nuclear weapons in the wrong hands, it is not far-fetched to contemplate what would happen if our time on Earth came to an abrupt end. One cannot help but wonder about the aftermath of such an event. Would there be any remnants of civilization left? How would nature reclaim its dominance over man-made structures? The demise of humanity might accelerate natural processes such as reforestation and wildlife resurgence, offering a glimmer of hope amidst despair. Without human interference, ecosystems might begin to heal themselves as they adapt to a post-human world. However, amidst these ponderings on nature's rebound, we must also confront harsh realities. The annihilation of humankind would mean leaving behind unfinished stories, artworks never created or books never written, a collective human history lost forever. What about technological advancements that could have solved pressing global issues had we been given more time? These possibilities fuel curiosity about what could have been if only we were granted more moments on this finite planet. Theories on how the world could end. The world has captivated the imagination of many scientists and thinkers who have come up with various theories on how it could all potentially end. One theory that has gained attention is the notion of a global pandemic wiping out humanity. With advances in transportation and rising global population, the threat of a highly contagious and lethal virus spreading has become increasingly likely. Another theory focuses on climate change as our planet faces unprecedented levels of carbon emissions and rising temperatures. Scientists warn that if we fail to curb these emissions, we may face catastrophic consequences such as extreme weather events, food shortages, and mass migration. While these theories may seem far-fetched or like plot lines from science fiction movies, they serve as a reminder that the fate of our world lies in the hands of both human actions and natural forces beyond our control. Understanding these potential scenarios can help motivate efforts to prevent them from becoming reality, while also prompting discussions on how we can protect ourselves in case any do occur. Impact on Humanity and the Environment The impact on humanity and the environment, if the world were to come to an end this week, would be catastrophic. Human life as we know it would cease to exist, and the damage inflicted upon our planet would be irreparable. Our planet is home to a diverse range of species, each playing a crucial role in maintaining a delicate ecosystem. Without human intervention, this balance would collapse rapidly. Without humans there to regulate hunting and deforestation, animal populations would spiral out of control, leading to mass extinction events. Furthermore, the impact on the environment itself would be devastating, with industries no longer operating and pollution being left uncontrolled our air quality and waterways would deteriorate rapidly. The effects of climate change that are already evident today, rising sea levels, extreme weather events, would only intensify without humans actively working towards mitigating their impacts. It is important for us to realize that we have an incredible responsibility towards our planet and its inhabitants. We must take action now, not just for our own survival, but for the preservation of all life on Earth social and economic consequences of the end. The end of the world would bring about devastatingly grave consequences on both social and economic levels. Firstly, social cohesion would crumble as people are faced with the reality that their lives will come to an abrupt end. The sense of community and unity that holds societies together may quickly unravel, leading to widespread panic and chaos. As individuals scramble to ensure their own survival, 
societal norms and values could be abandoned in favor of sheer self-preservation. Economically, the fallout from the end of the world would be equally catastrophic. With no future prospects or need for currency, financial systems would collapse overnight. Businesses would become obsolete as there would be no demand for goods or services. The global economy, which relies heavily on intricate supply chains and interdependent markets, would completely seize up. This collapse in economic activity could spiral into a deep recession or even a depression, plunging billions into poverty and creating unprecedented levels of inequality. Coping mechanisms in the face of an apocalypse. In the face of an apocalypse, our instincts to survive kick into high gear. While it's natural to feel overwhelmed and fearful, finding healthy coping mechanisms can not only help us survive physically, but also mentally. One effective way to cope is by creating a routine or schedule. Having structure in our day can provide a sense of normalcy amid chaos, giving us a sense of control in an uncontrollable world. Another coping mechanism is staying informed without becoming consumed by the endless stream of news and information. It's important to stay updated on the situation at hand, but constantly bombarding ourselves with sensationalized reports can heighten anxiety and fear. Finding trusted sources and limiting media consumption can help maintain a level-headed perspective while still being well-informed. In conclusion, although an apocalypse might seem like an unimaginable scenario, having coping mechanisms at hand can make all the difference between survival and succumbing to despair. By establishing routines, staying informed without becoming overwhelmed, and fostering connections with others, we equip ourselves with the tools necessary to navigate through even the darkest times. Remembering our resilience as human beings is key. No matter what obstacles come our way, there is always hope for rebuilding. Reflections on what truly matters in life. In the face of impending doom, our priorities become crystal clear. The material possessions that once seemed so important suddenly fade into insignificance. What truly matters is the people we love and the memories and experiences we have collected along our journey. It is in these moments of reflection that we realize how much time and energy we wasted on meaningless pursuits. Our relationships become even more cherished as they are all that remains in those final moments. We come to appreciate the laughter and shared experiences with friends and family, realizing that it was these connections that brought us true joy throughout our lives. As time grows short, we understand the importance of forgiveness, letting go of grudges and embracing love. In this momentary clarity, we come to understand what truly matters, connection, kindness, and the power of love. With death lurking at every corner, there is no time for regrets or dwelling on past mistakes. Instead, what matters most now is finding solace within ourselves, knowing that we lived our life authentically, being true to who we are without any apologies or compromises. We find comfort in focusing on personal growth instead of success defined by societal standards, because in the face of an ending world, it is not about proving anything to anyone but finding peace within ourselves, knowing that we lived a life filled with purpose and meaning, a life fully embraced until its very last breath. Conclusion Embracing gratitude and living fully In the face of an impending apocalypse, it becomes clear that embracing gratitude and living life to the fullest is more important than ever. When faced with the prospect of losing everything we hold dear, we are reminded of how fleeting this life can be and how crucial it is to appreciate what we have. Gratitude allows us to find joy in even the simplest things. A warm cup of coffee, a beautiful sunset, or a heartfelt conversation with loved ones. Living fully means embracing every moment as if it were our last. It means pursuing our passions fearlessly and without hesitation, because who knows if there will be a tomorrow. It means taking risks, stepping out of our comfort zones, and making every day count. Instead of dwelling on the end that may come this week or at some point in the future, let us focus on making each day meaningful by expressing love and kindness towards others chasing dreams unapologetically, and cherishing every experience as an opportunity for growth. As darkness looms over humanity's existence in these hypothetical final days, let us choose to shine brightly with gratitude and living fully. In doing so, not only do we elevate our own lives, 
but also inspire others around us to do the same. Embracing this mindset not only helps us become better versions of ourselves, but also leaves behind a legacy that extends far beyond any temporal boundaries.